Well, as we approach the busiest time of the year for changing residences, consumers need to know their rights and the red flags of moving scams. Every year, thousands of complaints are received from consumers who have fallen prey to dishonest and often unlicensed moving companies. Following a few simple rules when selecting a mover will go a long way toward protecting yourself from being victimized by scams this moving season. Here with more details is John Paschal, the leader of the Better Business Bureau serving all of Southeast Texas. So John, what are some of the common complaints when it comes to moving companies? What we often hear from consumers, Kelly, is uh, broken, damaged merchandise, uh, sometimes unprofessionalism or poor customer service, and then often uh, charges that may change during the move. Hmm. Something they didn't expect, something uh, that cost more than what they thought it was going to. So how can consumers actually protect themselves? To protect themselves, obviously we always uh, instruct consumers to get three different bids, three different written bids. Now you want to get those in-house, not over the phone. Over the phone, it can be easy to maybe miss a bid or, or to have a wrong bid. Have them come into your house, look at the merchandise to be moved, uh, what you, your belongings, and give you a written bid. Also watch out for the bid that is significantly lower than the rest of the bids. We often see that that lowball bid turns into extra charges later and ends up being more expensive. So you want everything in written form? You do want it in written form, and you want to understand as a consumer, if we move, what are the charges that could change by weight, by distance? Is there anything that could change in the middle of this move? One of the most difficult things we see is that when consumers have their merchandise moved or their belongings moved, and when they get it to the location, the moving company tells them that the charges have gone up so much, and we will hold your belongings until you pay this extra amount. Uh-oh, anything else that consumers can do? They want to check out the company, obviously, with the Better Business Bureau, bbb.org. Check and see if they're licensed, Federal Motor Carrier Licensing. Two good websites to go to are protectyourmove.gov and moving.org. Go to the BBB website and look for an accredited business because they know they can trust those businesses and they're going to make it right if there's a problem. Now, as far as, is there any way to ensure all of your belongings before you move them or a moving company moves them? Certainly can. The required insurance is normally about 60 cents per pound. The BBB often recommends that consumers look at getting full replacement protection though. It's a little bit more, but if you have a lot of lightweight electronics and some of our computers and TVs, that 60 cents per pound is not going to cover that. So full replacement is something you want to look into. And again, the website for the Better Business Bureau? BBB.org. Okay, and you can go on there 24-7. Yes, ma'am. John, thanks so much. We Certainly. appreciate you stopping by. And coming up next on Live at 5, Greg Boswick joins us with a look at your forecast.